and we're back to Fico Camp. This time it's the Roman numeral converter. So we've got Roman numerals given right here in this table, and we should find a way to convert them. For example, right here we will be given a 3, and it should be III in Roman numerals. 45, for example, is XLV. Why is that? Because XL is 40, V is 5, so XLV makes 45. My solution for this problem is, let's check on the right hand side, we will be given a number, 36, and then return a result. Obviously we also have to declare a result if we want to return it, and it's going to be a string. I'll make it empty for now. Then I've created an object that stores all of these Roman numerals and the corresponding Arabic numerals. So we'll use the Roman numerals as properties and the Arabic numerals as their values. I separate them with a comma. And obviously we'll have to declare a type for that. Let me make it let Roman numerals. Then I've used a for in loop to go through our object. And usually when you want to access the properties, you use the name prop just for this variable. So let me just call it let prop in our object, which was Roman numerals. And if I, for example, print it out, let me use console.log and show you what the prop is. These are going to be the properties, so I have to find the Roman numerals as such. So this for in loop goes through the object and then gets all of the letters, which are the properties now. And if you want to access the numbers, let me print that out as well. We need our object Roman numerals, square brackets prop. So if we just use the object, we'll get properties and the values. But if we use square brackets prop, we'll get numbers. So just to explain to you, why I use this code so far. Let me comment this out for now. Inside of the foreign loop I've used a while and I want to use it to store the properties, so the letters, which was code line 20, I've printed it out, the prop. They will be stored in results.
but only for as long as our number, so the 36 that's given, is bigger than our Roman numerals prop. So for example, if we have zero for number, we couldn't find the zero inside of our Roman numerals object anymore, and there is no property that has the value zero, so this while loop would then stop. Let me check. The num is the name that we're using here as a parameter, so I have to correct that here. And we have to find a way to decrement our num, so to subtract every time the while loop is iterated. And we simply use our Roman numerals prop for that. So there was the number, I've printed it out in code line 21. So minus equals Roman numerals prop. And now we should already be good, let me check it. And we are. Let me print that out as well. So I print out the result first. And you can see we'll get all of these letters, so the properties. For 36 it would be xxxvi. So for each iteration a new letter is added. First three iterations would be for 10, fourth iteration for 5, and the final one for i, so equals to 1. Let me also print out our num, and you can see why this works. So these are the numbers, we'll start with a 36, and in the first iteration obviously num 36 is bigger than Roman numeral prop. It finds the 10, then it subtracts 10 from 36, we get 26, and so forth, so xx then 16, xxx 6. Then we will subtract 5, we will get 1 for num. Finally we will have the i, which is set to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then the while loop stops as num would be equal to 0, and 0 is not bigger or equal to Roman numerals prop. And this is how you can solve this Roman numerals converter in FreeCodeCamp. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.